Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are near Calgary. We are driving back from British Columbia, and we also have found a car on Marketplace that we want to look at. That's what we do, so we're going to take you with us. Um, we just showed up. We're going in the shop. We're going to meet this man. We're going to go for it. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> And the name is exactly is Harry. Harry. Harry Penny. Harry Penny. And Sam Penny. And Sam Penny. That's my boy. I, I'm Penny Nickel. Penny Nickel. <laughs> I call him Hot Rod Harry. Hot Rod Harry. Yeah, that's what he got me on the line at. So Hot Rod Harry has a 34 Ozenbeel that we wanted to take a look at, and um, basically we're at a shop up the road that where he's working mm -hmm. and doing some mechanical stuff. He's got a cool Pontiac here. And uh, the reason I say cool, it is a four-speed car, you know, bucket seats. It's all original yeah. by the looks of the thing, does it? It's been painted a long time ago. Okay. But it's factory buckets, console car, factory tack, 327, four-speed numbers matching. Are you able to find quite a few cars around here like that? It's getting harder to find good stuff, Chad. Yeah. Like, there's lots of stuff out there, but guys got to mud it up. Gotcha. I understand, but, yeah. <clears throat> like, I was, that's why I was saying to you before about Leftbridge area. Yeah. It's like getting it out of the desert. If you get it out of that area down there, it's just like coming out of Las Vegas. Okay. Not Las Vegas. Doesn't uh, matter. It's dry yeah. and clean. Yeah. Yeah. The interior will be baked out of it. There won't right. be no interior in it, but the car will be clean. Like no rust. Okay. Because I, I hate rust, and you know what rust is all about. Well, rust costs... from the East Coast. It, so. that, that costs money, rust. Well, yeah. Yeah. And I everything costs money on, in cars, but... And I hate dealing with rust. Yeah. And a lot of people do. But this is a, a 60... This is from California. This is a 60 and foul. This was just a small block 283 yeah. car. So I put a 348, rebuilt 348. Jolene could have told you what that was, couldn't you, Jolene? Mm -hmm. she you guys it. got one at home. I seen it in the picture the other day. We do. I said, what is that? I wonder a 348 or a 409. Uh, I think it's a 348. <clears throat> well, it's easy to tell. Okay, explain it to me. Or well, show me. 409, dipstick tube is over there. Okay. Or over here, rather, I'm sorry, on a 409. It's on the driver's side. Yeah. Passenger side would be a 348. Okay. Then if you see it, like some of these has got a, an X on the block. On here. And okay. That also identifies it. I like this, how you get this little cover on here for the valve pan cover. Well, like, cool. I, see, these engines, Todd, Ted. Todd, Ted? <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah. You can call me late for supper call, sometimes, said, it don't matter. I anything, he said, don't call me late for supper. There you go. <clears throat> these motors bred out, bled, or bred out of the back. With a tube. Yes, I know what you're saying. A breeder tube? Yeah. Because they never had PCV valves or anything in them. Right. So what I done was, this is an older intake. <clears throat> or this, not not this one. I'm thinking about the one upstairs. But anyways, I put an Edelbrock intake on it. Mm -hmm. And it comes, the new one, you, it's got a hole here for to put the PCV valve Okay, in. she can, right on. She right can just here. run a hose off that and then put yeah, a see, come over. I'll show you. PVC in the back. So... Oh, right on. So you put your PCV valve in here. It's right, right in your right in your right intake. In intake. And then I ran another boost out of here for my booster. Okay. So <clears throat> you can put a PC or a PCV valve in the breeder here if you want it. But what I done was I went and drilled the covers. Right. And I put these little guys on. So it'll breathe through there. Plus I'm gonna put one in here. Okay. It just it's just better for the motor. Now yeah, okay. And I put a seven hundred R four in it. Transmission, so I got four speed overdrive. Right, looks good. Disc brakes, power steering, it's on your right. Is that the original shock hook, hook up like that? No, I changed that around. Like, okay, these guys, whoever done it, kind of had it Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. So I took it off and changed it because I, ch I put new upper and lower control arms in it mm -hmm. and all new ball joints and disc brakes and complete new front end in it. All of that, so I changed it over to electronic. You have to run a coil? Yeah. I'll find a place for that. Yeah. I replaced everything in it. The heater core, you can't buy a heater core for it. So I had to have one kind of made. Yeah. It's not cheap, as you know. No. And then the interior, like I'm a kind of a fussy guy. So the interior, it's, it's all pretty much new. And uh, the impalas are getting really high. Well, this dollar. is the bubble top, they yeah. call, right? Yeah. Because because of the back window. Yeah. So it's a radio delete car. 
So I put a, a stereo in it, but it's it looks like the original radio. Yeah. Because I didn't want to go. Oh, come on, that's okay. I didn't want to cut the dash up already, right? So I ordered new door panels. That looks nice, didn't it? Look really nice. <clears throat> and I was that's what I got left to do is put this panel on. But the the window crank or whatever you want to call it for the vent window. Yeah. I was pushing the handle on and the bugger went back in the door. So now it's gonna come back off. Well I got I didn't have it right on. <clears throat> so I got it. A new one. Four hundred dollars. Wow. Crazy. For, for, oh, let me show you. It's just a Man, little... we stayed in a resort last night and built a fire for less than four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right here, man. It's true. But that's expensive. Four hundred bucks yeah. for that. I got you, yeah. Try to find it though when you need it. Well, you, you could find a used one, but I don't like that. Okay. You know, because I don't want to put it together and have to tear it apart again. Gotcha. So we put a new headliner in it. New nice. carpet. Um, door panels. Beautiful. Has the car been restored before? Or is it just it this was nice? It once before summer. I don't know yeah. where or when. It's like I said. It's it's dry. No rust. Like I've been all over this car underneath everywhere. It's actually solid. It came out of California somewhere because I found a bunch of what are they doing? Dirt gobbers, I call them. Dirt gobbers. <clears throat> Look at that Red clay. Now, yeah. That was up in the heater, in the heater hose, the vent hose. A wasp or something, eh? Yeah. Or mud wasp. And, yeah. And we have a whole home. bunch of them all through everywhere. And they built nests in there. So I, I just took it, kept it. But <clears throat> It's like I said, it's all, uh, I've been all over, had to cut the dry shaft, shorten the shaft for it, because I put a 700 R4 in it. Right. I think I told you that. New door cell moldings. Pretty much everything I put new in it. And ready, then this, ready, ready for the summer? Oh, yeah. Just, like, all I got to do is, like, I left the front clip off because I was, <clears throat> had a set of manifolds here. Yeah. For it, and I dropped one on the floor and broke the sucker. But you got to remember, they're 65 years old. Gotcha. So they don't fit good. And I don't know what I've done, but it's probably true it out. But anyway, <laughs> so I went and I ordered a set of headers for it. Like shorties, because yeah. I didn't want long tube headers. So I just had them powder coated to run the table. So I got to put them on, and then I could put all the front clip on. Because I sandblasted all the inner fenders and the rad support and everything and painted it. It's right. all done. So I just got to put that on, and once the headers are on, then I can put it together. And then that, that part of it's over, right? And gotcha. then this guy up here, I done frame off restoration on it. Yeah, it looks good underneath there. Second owner. I bought this from the original family. So this is yours? Up top? Yeah. Which one? What is that now? That's a 60 Pontiac two-door sedan. Okay. And I put a 409 two fours four-speed in it. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. So it's going to get a yep and go. But <clears throat> Sam done all the scraping and underneath. You can see back in the back here. You can look up better. You're into it too, are you, Sam? Oh, yeah. I'm buying this car. <laughs> he won't let me sell it. Don't, don't, don't go and buy it. Wait, wait a little while. Wait a little while. Yeah, come on, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you really mean. <laughs> He'll leave it to you, son. <clears throat> but beautiful. I never touched it for two years. Yeah. Because I keep bringing other projects in. You know, right? I, I, I've done a few cars like this, mm -hmm. and it's so much work. Oh. Sometimes I'm so like I'm. But I'm fussy, man. It's good to be fussy, but I. I there's so many cars I want to build, and to build them all this way, it oh, would take you forever. You wouldn't live yeah. long enough. You got that right. But see, this started out, I'm just going to take the motor out of it, because it was a factory six-cylinder three-speed standard car. That's how we all tell them. And I said, I'm going <laughs> to clean up the engine just, compartment. Yeah, yeah. So I understand. the engine compartment, right? But of course, I kept going and going. The next thing, I got the car on the road history. Yeah. So I said, you know what? Piss on it. I'm going to put it together the way I want it. Yeah. And we got everything to finish it. If the body is already done, ready for paint. Yeah, you can tell, like the inside. Is it but just... you can't find no one to do nothing around here, Todd. They're all art. Don't matter. Don't matter. Anyways, do you want a million dollars to paint something? Okay. I can't paint it in here. It's too dirty. You can't find people to do anything here either? It's basically you, you getting can, that. can, but I had a guy come and look at my 58. I got a 58 Biscayne at the house. I'll show you. Yeah. I had a guy come and look at it. The car is ready for paint. I got an old friend of mine. He's yeah. an old body guy. He just retired from down home. <clears throat> Jimmy got it ready for me. This guy comes, looks at it, he says, uh, $50,000. To what? To paint it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, whoa. I said, I don't need a restoration, bro. <laughs> I said, the car is ready for paint. All you got to do is tape it up. I do for 49 I guess so. <laughs> I said, all you got to do is tape it up, right? 
Wow. And I said, the paint is here, the clear, is, everything is here, just spray it. Wow, 50,000. He said, oh, if you got that, then he says, I'll do it for 10. So we went from 50 to 10. Wow. So I said, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Wow. And I got a real good, real good painter in Calgary. He works for the Shaw GMC. Yeah. And he'll paint it, but we don't got, you can't do it in here. It's too dirty. Yeah. So I'm going to blow, blow, I'm going to buy up, buy one of those blow up paint boots. We actually use one of those. Any They're just good? not good in the wind, that's all. No, no. <laughs> so I got a buddy of mine with a big shop down the road. Yeah. Put it inside of the big shop. Put it inside of the, he yeah. got a real nice That'll shop. That'll be fantastic. Put it up in there. Put it close to the, to the door. Yep. So I can leave the big they door. Ha they, have them, they have fans that are yeah, all hooked yeah. up and things in the corner. Yeah, that will be fantastic. So yeah. I just want to get a nice coat of paint on yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Like we painted the firewall and the ring on this thing. Are you into yeah. polishing your cars and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's a lot of work, man. Oh, man, I, I tell you. I try not like I don't like polishing really to be honest with you. I'd rather just paint it and drive it to be honest with you. Like Well, I'm getting to that stage now in life yeah. where I don't want to be scrubbing and cleaning on them all the time. Right? Well, I thought about it when I when I first started doing that, you know, everything had to be up to par, right? Yeah. And as I got doing it more and more often, I feel like it doesn't have to be up to par anymore. It, has, it all has to do is please you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you want something like that, you go for it. But you know. Well, April used to, I used to drive her crazy because we'd go to a show. I said, we can't go. I've got to clean the car. <laughs> like, there's mm -hmm. my 58 on the wall that yeah. I had a couple of years ago. I oh, wow. I'm an old guy in Montana. You're really into it. Yeah. Now, that car is it's on the toolbox there. The way it was when I got it, it had cotton metal kit on it, skirts, RC yeah. RCA yeah. record player. It had a classic corner on it. It had an RCA record player in it. Chad and the Did you play Conway Titty? Hey? Did you play Conway Twitty? Yeah. That's what we've been playing Con Conway Twitty the whole way. It had, it came with 2,000, with more than 2,000 45s. He said, the old guy told me, he said, I stopped counting after 2,000, Harry. He said, I don't know how many is there. But he said, I know there's 2,000. Oh, wow. But I took all of it out because I didn't want an old man car. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to offend anybody. No, you're not going to offend me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it looked good, but it was what he wanted. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But I wanted to make it my way, which is right there. Yeah, that's basically what makes you happy. You're doing it your way. Yeah, and it was a factory 348 tri power. Wow. Big money car. Yeah. So I traded it off for a 40 Willys. Okay. And I probably shouldn't have. What's the Will? You got the Willys now? No. Sold that? I had 100. Probably buys and sells them like yeah. crazy. Okay. They don't keep nothing. Everyone in the car comes. I think I keep a CO lady. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> she's a good woman like your woman. Awesome. Jolene's my queen. Yep. Well, mine is out somewhere. <laughs> Mine's out somewhere. Shopping? No. It's a shame. It's, I haven't taken Jolene shopping yet. No. We're running is. around looking at cars and, and stuff. You know well, what she I mean? She enjoys it too, so. I'm hoping so. No, she do. I'm hoping so. <clears throat> but it's, Yeah, it's, you do. It's, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is. We like doing it. Basically. So I'm trying to get him more on board. Yeah. That should be yeah, hard. He can do more, right? Yeah. Well, he's kind of busy chasing girls right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what can, can I tell you? <laughs> Probably not much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any advice, I don't think. <laughs> but it's all good. I don't have any advice. Just be nice to the one you like. Yeah. Basically. But we, we buy and sell quite a few, me and him, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No. I like doing it. In the it's, it's like fishing. It's catch and release. Catch and release. I never did much of that. But, but, I, but basically, you got to buy a basically you got to buy a car that's. I don't know what to say. Then do no work to it if you're going to plan on making money off any old cars. Well, I find you as soon as you start working you on it, it. You, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you either buy a good car or you don't buy a good car. Yeah. If you start working on it, then the, then the profit goes down. But yeah, but I, I mean, it's like this car. I mean, that I'm working on there now. I mean, yeah. It's just little things I see that could the next guy could get problems like ground wires and yeah. positive cables and just stuff. What are you talking the the Pontiac? Yeah, or this the sixty four. Okay. You know. So you're gonna buy you're gonna sell that one? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah you say something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well we got a guy working on a deal with a guy right now on it actually. Okay. We'll see if it happens. And uh <clears throat> but I got a friend of mine I was trying to hook you up with. Because you said you're going to Edmonton. Right. And he's right up your alley with what the stuff he got. What what's the name on the I'm gonna give you his what's, card. What's the name? Okay. Harry's projects. Harry's Barry, Harry's you can project. go on his site. He's from where? Oh, he's, he's from, from New East. Brunswick. Oh wow, close to home. Yeah. Did you did you see the little uh, 
what is it, 64 that's cut in half on there? Got the, you know how you take the, it was a four door and they made it into a two yep. door? Did you see that on a Kijiji? I can't say I did. He's got a, in pretty, Alberta? yeah, he's got a big old price on it, but, yeah, well, you know. A lot of these guys are, uh, you can have that. Okay. That's him and his wife, is, she's into uh, oh, taking nice. pictures, like wedding pictures oh, okay. and stuff. And they got like a little town set up up there. Yep. And uh, you dress up and they'll take a yeah, picture of you? Yeah, like dress you up like Daniel Boone or whatever you want or Bonnie and Clyde. And he's got some cars to go along with it. Yes. But you'd like this guy because <clears throat> he's a good guy for one thing. And he's got a lot of stuff that you'd love, like 30s. Okay. He's got... What's the, what's the coupe right down here at the road? Is it right on the same side we're on? Is there a little... Oh, just back here? Yeah. There's uh, a spare body in there and stuff. Was there a, is there a coupe in there? Did you see a coupe? No, there's not a coupe. Oh, those are the English cars. They're English. Oh, okay. They're all little English cars and you can't talk to that guy. Okay. He's, I don't want he's to. He's so though. far out. He's in another world. But I, I understand. Ivan, he's got a lot of stuff. Like, because you like chopping stuff up. Yep. He's got the stuff. Right on. And I phoned him this morning. And he said, I'm in California. I said, it's too bad because you said you were going to Edmonton. Okay. So I tried to put the two of Well, there's two, the there's two cars that I enjoyed on the on the site. I'm just, you know, I'm just looking. Yeah, yeah, Joey yeah. got me hooked up. I'm scrolling was yeah. yours. And then there's another one just a little past a little bit. Edmonton, it's a 41 Chev two-door, I think it is. Okay. I think it's on there for 10. It's on there for 10. But yeah. it says it's got no rust on it. Works excellent and all that sort of stuff. But you never know until you get no, there, you obviously. Yeah. Right? And uh, that's the only way. Put we're running, so we just hands on it, right? I wanted to come see yours. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll take you over there in a minute when you're ready. You're not negotiable yeah. that much, so are you? Not a lot because I, I, I was going to sell it. Yeah. And then. Do you got, you, you understand? You obviously know that w when you're not going to sell it, you're going to spend money on it. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, but I got everything there, Chad. It's okay. Like oh, you've got the engine. And, you got the, yeah. I got a diff, disc brake rear end for it. Got yeah. a tranny for it. I got a front clip. I set the house up to put in a Mustang two clip and everything, right? That come out of that sedan delivery I was telling you about, right? Yeah. So it's all new, but I just got to take it back out of that frame, put in that car. Right. And that's what I want to do. And that's what turned me on about that car when I seen it. It's, it's just such a cool looking car, the front of that car and everything. Yeah. I do like that car. It's quite nice. That's it's, a, I like the side view of it. It's nice and square. It's long. It's, it's big. It's a nice car. You and, almost could make it look like a, like a Packard or almost. It's, it's kind got of, a, it's got a Continental kit on the back factory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's no trunk in it. Mm-hmm right it's got suicide doors on the back regular doors on the front we actually did one on tv we turned it into a dump truck i seen it yeah we turned it into a. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm not tr not planning on turning it into a dump truck but no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's a it's a pretty it. good look whatever you want with it. okay whatever turns your crank man we we did make a phone call for a couple car or for a car that a guy that we knew and he, he didn't he wouldn't message me back i'm thinking <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure what to think. But anyways, we'll leave it as that. It's hey, up to him. Hey, that's fine. Yeah. But no, it's, it's up to you guys whatever you do with it. It's really got, I wasn't going to leave it originally. I'm okay. going to leave the body alone and the yeah. interior alone, but I just want to put a drivetrain in it. Yeah. It drives fine. Like 50 mile an hour, like I told you. Smashed. That's it. Yeah. Right to the floor. I understand. We right. have we have a 38 the same way. And like Chevy. I took April out in it last, last year, took her to a show mm. and she was frightened to death. She said, we're going to get run over on the highway. I said, Relax. We're, there's the slow lane which we're in. I said, they guys got the passing lane. We're doing yeah. 50 miles an hour. We're good. But she was nervous. Yeah. Eh? I got you. <laughs> so <laughs> but my intentions over. was when I seen that car to buy that car, yeah. I wanted to put a motor and tranny in it and make it, you know. Yeah, yours. Kind of a little street rod. Yeah. But I didn't want to touch the body. And I didn't want to And touch the body's the really good. Yeah. It's got some dings and some scratches. Like, yeah. Don't we all? Yeah. You know, but it's some know. history, you know. But <clears throat> well, if it's not a waste of your time, no I wouldn't mind looking at it. Let's go do it. Okay, let's go look at it, and then that way there, you I, can decide. I can decide. You know, whenever you feel like it. It's like Jolene like, tells I didn't me. Even think it was online anymore, Chad? I oh. thought she had taken it off. Yeah. Because I told her I, I had a couple here and I sold them. I said if I sell this and this, then I'm going to do the Oldsmobile. Okay. Because I'm just one guy, and I'm getting older. Yeah. You ain't got getting a, any younger. You got a young son there, though. And, yeah, I know, but he's, <laughs> he's got to work too, right? Right. So he's been out doing some stuff. So we'll see. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. And uh, so we'll do we'll do that. I said to Sam, right? I grab my coat. You've got a cool little shop here, man. This used yes. to be the old community center. This used to be the community center. It's awesome. 
And uh, what I done? What 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 are those? For uh, running down through the home in in an engine. Are you serious? Down the, yeah. Okay. Home balls. Home balls. Yeah. For like if you don't want to bore it out. Yeah. You just take those and never clean seen up the board, never right? seen it before. Well, that's Johnny, the guy that was in here a minute ago. Yeah. That's my buddy. He didn't know all that kind of stuff, and he's my tranny guy. Like we got a tranny bench, I got a full of junk. Okay. But we build trannies and stuff here too. And whatever, whatever it takes to be a. You, you, know, get it, you know, to get it going and right. stuff, right? Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, I think to it's me, to be honest with you, the the you know, three twenty seven four speed <clears throat> kind of makes numbers it. Numbers matching yeah. car. Uh, three twenty seven four speed factory tack factory buckets. Yeah, you can get the bottle on the. Well, I put that there. Oh, okay. It wasn't there. I got lots of junk laying around too. Yeah. So it, it wasn't there, so I put that in. Right. And then they had the wrong wiper blades on it, so I changed those out. Does it say three hundred horse? Okay. Right, 327, but it runs nice. It's just some little stuff. And we got a parts car out back, mm -hmm. kind of came with this. And I picked a few pieces off of that because the horn wasn't working. So I got that going this morning. So now I got everything going, working on it like it should, right? And it had a black cable on here. And then you got two black cables. So you get a guy that don't know the difference. You're going to blow something up. Yeah. Trying to boost it or something, you know? Yeah, I understand. So I, I just changed it out this morning, had to shorten it. Then I got the red underneath it so you can see that too and the, yeah. the ground. So I made a new ground cable for it. Just little stuff, tidy it up, right? Well, I can see that you're trying to you're trying to be neat and all yeah, that well, sort see, of stuff. I, I did all me? that and yeah. put all that along there. Put the zip ties in. It's nice to be neat. I like stuff like that, man. Yeah. Because it drives me nuts if it's not. Yeah, I could tell on that car probably. Yeah, I yeah. could tell on that car. <laughs> it, it, it's just the way it, and i used to be like years ago i used to be all original it had to be original okay but i kind of got away from all of that yeah you know something i do like all original but if it's going to be original i like it done with like with the original battery and the original yeah. cl you know hose clamps and, and that's what i mean you know that's what i mean by original if someone yeah. says well, they got an original my, car that's my 58 was yeah it had the right hose clamps on it had the right right to me, like if you got an aluminum rad in it, yeah. you're not calling it an original no. car. Like, well, some guys do. Yes, I understand that, but, but there should be you know, a guide, you know, yeah. so everybody knows and everybody's on the same category. But when when I, you say it's rust free, that yeah. means there's no rust on it. Exactly. <laughs> not that you cut it off. Tell us. <laughs> that it's not that it's not been rusty. You know, there should yeah. be a guide. Well, you know, it would be nice to have a guide for everybody to go by. It's would not, it not. There's not like I don't know. It's hard to say stuff sometimes, but. Some guys are just not honest. And are you serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I mean, they tell you stuff and yeah, they get themselves convinced of it. Yeah, I understand. That it is what mm. they're telling you. Yeah. But you know, they really don't know what they're talking about. And some do, some don't. And appraisers, they're a dime a dozen. I know a few of them. And they come to the appraise a car mm. and they say, okay, Harry, how much do you need this appraisal for? Well, right. you're the appraiser. Yeah, exactly. That's why you're here. Yeah. I've had that. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, how much do you want this appraisal? <laughs> Am I paying you or are you paying me? Yeah, right. like you're the appraiser, man. That's why you're here. Yeah, I understand. Like, be honest. Tell it like you see it. True. But there's not a, unfortunately in, in this game, there's a lot of crooks. <laughs> yeah, you know? we don't want to think about them guys. <clears throat> No, but I mean, see, I seen some shady shit, and I'm sure you've seen lots of it over the years. Like, I was in Barrie one time. I don't know if you ever been. Like, it's not I have not been in Barrie. Barrie, Ontario. Yes. You're talking to the big show. Yeah. And I used to go there years ago when I was living down east, and I used to go twice a year in the spring and in the fall. <clears throat> and there used to be hundreds and hundreds. You couldn't see all the stuff there, man. But anyway, I was there one time, and this guy had his '55 Chev parked up on the grass. Beautiful car. And I seen the car because it was in a little town that I lived in, Hamilton, Ontario, or Burlington, yeah. really by Hamilton. And I always liked it, but it was behind a fence, so I could never get to touch and look. So touch anyway, and look. He had the car. He had the <laughs> car at, at Barry, and it was up on a nice grassy knoll, and the car looked beautiful. So of course, me, first you thing, I got to get underneath it. You want to see it? I got to get underneath and see what's down in the bottom. Mm. Well, I'm down there and I'm looking at it. It's all tarred and feathered, fresh, you can tell, eh? Tarred and feathered? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I grabbed it to the body mounts, and this is true, man. I grabbed the body mounts in it, and they're squeezing. What he had done was took tar, put it all over everything, then took heavy tin file and shaped the ribs, and then put tar over it. 
There was nothing holding that car on the frame. Wow. Car. And they had a beautiful paint job on it. And it came out of a body shop. Wow. But why not fix the car? I'm not sure. You put a, a $20,000 paint job on it. And there's it. probably a big money on it. Right? And underneath the car, there's nothing. There's no body bumps. Just go. I, I bought a car like that once. Did I ever tell you that? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> okay, just pull this down over for a second. Because we got to put it back here. And you can bring a car in here. Yes. Pull a mic. You won't go in here. You bring a nice car in here and he's all over it like a fat kid on a smarty. What, the cat? Oh, yeah. He's got mice in it and won't touch it. Nope. But you bring a nice car in, he's got to get on it and look at it and get in it. And I got you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good cat. Got to give it a going over. Alrighty, we're just going to go up the road a little ways. Yep. And then we'll we'll turn it back on. So we're just going sure. to go on pause and then we'll get her back on. Okay, buddy. Cool. Alrighty, we're back at it. We're at his house. He's obviously got it inside of a building or storage container, or the the trailer there. But we're going to get to take a look at it. And basically, the thing is, we looked at Kijiji on Edmonton. We found the two nicest cars that we enjoyed, and we wanted to go take a look at them to see what the price is and all that sort of stuff. And uh, this is the very first one we're going to look at. We're going to go look at another one. We'll take you with us and uh, hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, just going from there. Yes. Probably should pull up closer so you haven't had to walk through so much mud. Would you like that, Jolene? Yes. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you. <laughs> Seems like a good guy, don't he? Huh? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, it seems like that he's buying really, really good stuff by the looks of the cars that we've seen at the at the little building there. Um, his a car that he's restoring is absolutely something else, but that Impala, that bubble top Impala is quite something else. Oh, no, he's got motorcycles and four-wheelers. Mm. Terrible. Um, but, yeah, he seems to be a, a real good car guy. Oh, I'm in the mud. Nice. Oh, I'll wash your shoes for a night in the motel. Here you go. You yeah, I will. Huh? Yeah, I will. But, uh, I'm just going to take, take a look and see. Okay. And if you want, we'll bring it up. So, do you think this is the original paint on the car? I don't think so. I think some of it's been touched. Yeah. Myself, personally. Yeah. I, I couldn't say for sure because I'd be lying. Can I stand on that? You can do whatever you want. Well, don't say going to over there. <laughs> it has got a top in. Okay, buddy. Oh, it's got a canvas top in it, yeah. Yeah. It's got a curtain in the back. You pull down a privacy curtain. And I like this here piece. That's nice. I've never seen that. We never had that piece on ours, I don't think. That so piece we put a little yeah. set of turn singles on it. Okay. I, put, I enjoy that you put them there so you can take them off if you don't yeah, like them. Yeah. That's nice. Instead of... Yeah. No, I didn't want to cut nothing into the body. And I've had this off, which is a good spare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down, take a look. I gotta get down. Well, we can get you something to lay on, man. We can it out. Oh, good. You put new flex lines on it. I had to. Uh, Looks good and dry. Why I is, he, to, uh, why is the exhaust to... so white? Did you paint it? No. Nope. It's just working that good, or? I, guess, I don't know. <laughs> springs, are the springs are all still covered in the material, so yeah. that's all original still? Yeah. The frame is made your leg thick. Yeah, no, it's it's a nice, clean old car, and that's why I liked it so much. I could tell by your cars that you like stuff like that. Well, you didn't want no rust and junk, because yeah. if you're going to spend money on something, it's different what you do, you build your stuff. Yeah, basically. You, you need something, you make it. I'm, I'm starting to learn that it's cheaper to buy <laughs> than it is to make. It's taken me a while, but I enjoy making the stuff, too, well, also, yeah, you know? That's, that's the thing. If you
I only really wish we could find cars like that. Well, me being from the east, I know what rust is all about. And I just, as a kid growing up trying to fix stuff, I had enough of it. Yeah, see, like, yeah. I don't, I don't mind, like, that doesn't bother me. No, me Not neither. Much. Now, I wasn't going to touch none of that. No, you're, you're good, you get a good, yeah, it's a good thing. I want it all like, that, just like it is. Like, the front of it is so cool on that car. Yeah, okay. Let's come around, we'll go look at the front. And then if you want, we'll bring it out. But it's, it's, it's got that gangster look to me. Yeah, I, kind of, I, I think that's what got me. And uh, that's what turned me on about it. I mean, I, I just like that look. Yeah. And I, I'm not afraid of it because it's a four-door. I mean, I'd like the four-door. Me too. You know? You got um, someone with you? Go ahead, buddy. You got someone with you? You know, you don't have to worry about getting out and opening blowers and closing doors, letting them in and out. Go ahead, buddy. Look at that. Helping you out, Queen Jolene, huh? Gotta look after the girl. I never seen the hood ornament on that. It's nice. Now, like Very I said, nice. these are the original lights, yeah. Chad. But they weren't working. So I, I ordered a set of bulbs yes. that will clip right into these housings mm -hmm. from Speedway. I got them at the shop. Yeah. So then you'll have headlights because everything else is working. A Berta Proud vehicle, 1953-54. Yeah. So 54 was, this was parked. Right it was parked since 54, this car. Crossroads of the road. From what I was told. Yeah. Let me Be see if the old girl will fire. It's up. beautiful. Oh. Watch that ice. What's that? I won't see shit on that ice right there opening that door. If it's got brick, yeah, I suppose she, she got weed whacked on both sides, eh? Yeah. Let me see, Mr. Sam. I had the old girl going this morning. Ooh. Did you try to start with a crank ever before? Hey? Did you ever try to start with the crank? No, I, when I was a kid, I got some root. Just about broke my arms with a Land Rover. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, it's got the military wheels on it. And I smell gas. That's good. That's good, he says. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to, we're going to have to prime the old girl. Oh. Okay, Sam. Well, oh, you come to this side, Mitchell. We'll get this old girl going and out. That you even got the pamphlet in the back for it. Not many times you see these old cars and the old headliners are still good in them. Most times the mouse got, mice got to them. Yeah. Where's that screw? Okay. okay, Sam, when I get in, you give her a drink. <laughs> drink of the good stuff. Sam, give her. 